Semel, in Greek mythology, daughter of the Boeotian hero Cadmus and Harmonia, was the mortal mother of Dionysus by Zeus in one of his many origin myths. Certain elements of the cult of Dionysos and Semel came from the Phrygians. These were modified, expanded and elaborated by the Ionian Greek invaders and colonists. Herodotus, who gives the account of Cadmus, estimates that Semel lived 1600 years before his time, or around 2000 BCE in Rome, the goddess Stimula was identified as Semel. Etymology, according to some linguists the name Semel is Thraco-Phrygian, derived from a PIE root meaning earth. Julius Pocorni reconstructs her name from the PIE root DGM meaning earth, and relates it with Thracian Zemel, Mother Earth. However, Burkhardt says that while Semel is manifestly non-Greek, he also says that it is no more possible to confirm that Semel is a Thraco-Phrygian word for earth than it is to prove the priority of the Lydian Barchi over Bacchus as a name for Dionysos. Seduction by Zeus and birth of Dionysus, in one version of the myth, Semel was a priestess of Zeus, and on one occasion was observed by Zeus as she slaughtered a bull at his altar and afterwards swam in the river Asopus to cleanse herself of the blood. Flying over the scene in the guise of an eagle, Zeus fell in love with Semel and repeatedly visited her secretly. Zeus' wife, Hera, a goddess jealous of usurpers, discovered his affair with Semel when she later became pregnant. Appearing as an old crone, Hera befriended Semel, who confided in her that her lover was actually Zeus. Hera pretended not to believe her, and planted seeds of doubt in Semel's mind. Curious, Semel asked Zeus to grant her a boon. Zeus, eager to please his beloved, promised on the river Styx to grant her anything she wanted. She then demanded that Zeus reveal himself in all his glory as proof of his divinity. Though Zeus begged her not to ask this, she persisted and he was forced by his oath to comply. Zeus tried to spare her by showing her the smallest of his bolts and the sparsest thunderstorm clouds he could find. Mortals, however, cannot look upon the gods without incinerating, and she perished, consumed in lightning ignited flame. Zeus rescued the fetal Dionysus, however, by sewing him into his thigh. A few months later, Dionysus was born. This leads to his being called the Twice Born. When he grew up, Dionysus rescued his mother from Hades, and she became a goddess on Mount Olympus, with the new name Thyone, presiding over the frenzy inspired by her son Dionysus. Impregnation by Zeus, there is a story in the Fabuli 167 of Gaius Julius Hyginus, or a later author whose work has been attributed to Hyginus. In this, Dionysus is the son of Jupiter and Proserpina, and was killed by the Titans. Jupiter gave his torn-up heart in a drink to Semel, who became pregnant this way. But in another account, Zeus swallows the heart himself, in order to beget his seed on Semel. Hera then convinces Semel to ask Zeus to come to her as a god, and on doing so she dies, and Zeus seals the unborn baby up in his thigh. There is no suggestion in the text that Semel is a virgin, however. As a result of this Dionysus was also called Dimta, of two mothers because the two Dionysua were born of one father, but of two mothers, still another variant of the narrative is found in Callimachus and the 5th century CE Greek writer Nonus. In this version, the first Dionysus is called Zagreus. Nonus does not present the conception as virginal. Rather, the editor's notes say that Zeus swallowed Zagreus' heart, and visited the mortal woman Semel, whom he seduced and made pregnant. In Dionysiaca 7.110 he classifies Zeus's affair with Semel as one in a set of twelve, the other eleven women on whom he begot children being Io, Europa, the nymph Pluto, Dana, Aegina, Antiope, Leda, Dia, Alcmin, Lord Amua, mother of Sarpedon, and Olympias. Locations The most usual setting for the story of Semel is the palace that occupied the Acropolis of Thebes, called the Cadmua. When Pausanias visited Thebes in the 2nd century CE, he was shown the very bridal chamber where Zeus visited her and begat Dionysus. Since an oriental inscribed cylindrical seal found at the palace can be dated 14th 13th centuries BCE, the myth of Semel must be Mycenaean or earlier in origin. At the Elcyonian lake near the prehistoric site of Lerna, Dionysus, guided by Prosimnus or Polymnus, 
descended to Tartarus to free his once mortal mother. Annual rites took place there in classical times. Pausanias refuses to describe them. Though the Greek myth of Sema was localized in Thebes, the fragmentary Homeric and Dionysus makes the place where Zeus gave a second birth to the god a distant one, and mythically vague, for some say, at Dracanum. And some, on Windy Icarus. And some, in Naxos, O heaven born, in Sown. And others by the deep eddying river Alpheus that pregnant Semel bear you to Zeus the thunder lover. And others yet, Lord, say you were born in Thebes. But all these lie. The father of men and gods gave you birth remote from men and secretly from white armed Hera. There is a certain Nisa, a mountain most high and richly grown with woods, far off in Phanice, near the streams of Aegyptus. Semel was worshipped at Athens at the Lena, when a yearling bull, emblematic of Dionysus, was sacrificed to her. One ninth was burnt on the altar in the Hellenic way. The rest was torn and eaten raw by the votaries. Semel was a tragedy by Aeschylus. It has been lost, save a few lines quoted by other writers, and a papyrus fragment from Oxyanthus, P.O.C. 2164. Semel in Etruscan culture, Semel is attested with the Etruscan name form Semla, depicted on the back of a bronze mirror from the 4th century BCE. Semel in Roman culture, in ancient Rome, a grove near Ostia, situated between the Aventine Hill and the mouth of the Tiber River, was dedicated to a goddess named Stimula. W. H. Risher includes the name Stimula among the Indigitamenta, the lists of Roman deities maintained by priests to assure that the correct divinity was invoked in public rituals. In his poem on the Roman calendar, Arvid identifies this goddess with Semel. Augustine notes that the goddess is named after stimuli, goads, whips, by means of which a person is driven to excessive actions. The goddess's grove was the site of the Dionysian scandal that led to official attempts to suppress the cult. The Romans viewed the Bacchanals with suspicion, based on reports of ecstatic behaviors contrary to Roman social norms and the secrecy of initiatory rite. In 186 BCE, the Roman Senate took severe actions to limit the cult, without banning it. Religious beliefs and myths associated with Dionysus were successfully adapted and remain pervasive in Roman culture, as evidenced for instance by the Dionysian scenes of Roman wall painting and on sarcophagi from the 1st to the 4th centuries CE. The Greek cult of Dionysus had flourished among the Etruscans in the Archaic period, and had been made compatible with Etruscan religious beliefs. One of the main principles of the Dionysian mysteries that spread to Latium and Rome was the concept of rebirth, to which the complex myth surrounding the god's own birth was central. Birth and childhood deities were important to Roman religion. Arvid identifies Semel's sister Eno as the nurturing goddess Mater Matuta. This goddess had a major cult center at Citricum that was built 500 a Euro 490 BCE. The female consort who appears with Bacchus in the acroterial statues there may be either Semel or Ariadne. The pair were part of the Aventine Triad in Roma's Libra and Libera, along with Ceres. The temple of the Triad is located near the Grove of Stimula, and the grove and its shrine were located outside Rome's sacred boundary, perhaps as the dark side of the Aventine Triad. Semel in the classical tradition, in the later mythological tradition of the Christian era. Ancient deities and their narratives were often interpreted allegorically. In the Neoplatonic philosophy of Henry Moore, for instance, Semmel was thought to embody intellectual imagination, and was construed as the opposite of Arachne, sense perception. In the 18th century, the story of Semmel formed the basis for three operas of the same name, the first by John Eccles, another by Marin Marais, and a third by George Friedrich Handel. Handel's work based on Congreve's libretto but with additions, while an opera to its marrow, was originally given as an oratorio so that it could be performed in a Lenten concert series. It premiered on February 10, 1744. Notes. References. Burkert, Walter, Greek Religion, Cambridge, Massachusetts Harvard University Press, ISBN 0-674-36280-2. Andrew, The Story of Bacchus, London, British Museum Press, ISBN 0-7141-2008-0.
2255-6, Graves, Robert, 1960. The Greek Myths, Corinii, Carl, 1976. Dionysus, Archetypal Image of the Indestructible Life, Corinii, Carl, 1951. The Gods of the Greeks pages 256 ff. Seltman, Charles, 1956. The Twelve Olympians and Their Guests. Shenville Press Limited. External links, Homeric Hymns, on Thione, Warburg Institute Iconographic Database.